Salt shaker plushies are very peculiar creatures. They love nature, but they also love to bring the salt. Salty reminder that this plushie is almost over. Make sure you get yours before the deadline. All the information in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Our favorite time of the week, butt pillow time. Hey grains, it feels like such a long time since I've posted on the vlog channel and I miss it, but I absolutely needed a mental break. Any creator who has two channels knows that one has to constantly keep going and the other one is the one where they can take it easy and most of you grains understand because most of you are here to hang out. So thank you so much for being so patient. I am back and back with more unboxings. And today I am going to be unboxing a package from my friend, Sharla, who's in Japan. For those of you who don't know, Sharla is one of my good friends who lives in Japan and we've been friends for about five, six years, maybe more. And she has all these different adventures around Japan. She also just shows you day-to-day -day life with her in Japan. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I will link her down below. She's also a fellow Canadian, so you know she's nice. In April, we were supposed to be going to Japan, but of course, 2020. That's all I gotta say. So while I was pretty down about wanting the sakura flavored type foods and candies and adventures, that didn't happen. But Sharla knew this and she said that she would put me a box together. So thank you so much, Sharla. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to see what's inside. There's only one item in there that I know what's inside and I won't tell you grains because it'll be a surprise for you. In case you didn't know, Sakura is cherry blossom and it's in Japan for a very short window of time, about two-ish weeks, but it is pretty much the pink flowers blooming on these trees. I love how gorgeous they look and it just has this really existential moment when you look at them and you realize how beautiful they are and how beautiful the world. I'm not gonna get philosophical, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, without further delay, Let's see what we get inside. Also, let's take a moment to appreciate the pink tape. And here we go. I'm so excited. I miss Japan so much. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh my God. So upon first opening, this is what it looks like. Doesn't smell like anything, which is good. Otherwise they would have stopped it at the border. And just to let you grains know, it took about two months for this box to get to me. That's how quick Canada Post is. Two months for it to be delivered as opposed to one week. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. I am so excited. Here's the thing I've been waiting for. Oh, that's not even it. Oh, wow. So the first thing we have is a Sakura Cherry Blossom flavored tea. So I guess the best way for me to explain what Cherry Blossom flavored is, it's like a very light cherry flavor, but without the synthetic flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. I keep saying the flavor. Think of it as cherry, but non-synthetic, like that. Charla is a huge fan of teas. Her tea collection is out of this world. So we have a Lipton Japan Limited Edition tea. Oh, I'm so excited. I kinda wanna make one right now. I'll make one and insert while I'm tasting it. Here's a little brew. Mmm, has a very nice flowery scent. And of course my My Hero Academia cup and, oh, again, flowery. Not perfumey, flowery, very nice, very subtle. It's like drinking tea in the meadow of flowers. This is very comforting. Thanks, Charlie. I did not expect this. I didn't even know it existed, but now I'm happy. Why is it nostalgic? I've never had this before. That's so good. Yeah. And she sent two of them, which means I'm pretty sure my siblings are going to watch this and they're going to ask for one and I'm going to say, no, you may have one bag and it must be here. But then again, I can't really see them often. I'll just give them a bag to go. Next, what is that? So from the only part that I can understand, it does say down here that this is a soft candy. Let's try it. I love these things. And in Japan, most packages open this way, so you don't really have to. It's resealable? Of course, it's Japan. They love freshness. And let's take a snip. Oh, smells very flowery. Mm. This is what it looks like, so it kind of just looks like a gum and how soft is it okay so it is soft enough to squish with my hands and mm, oh mm -hmm. so the initial texture is kind of like a crunchy outside and then the inside is almost like a taffy but the good thing about it is sometimes a gummy and taffy here in north america starts hurting your teeth this one didn't hurt it wasn't overly sweet but it was quite sweet huh? i would say it started off almost like a gum texture and it just dissolves this I would definitely give it probably an eight. It's really nice, it's very fragrant. And next we have, oh, Pocky. 
And this is also Sakura flavor. I thought this box would make me happy and Charla, it's making ab it's making me so happy. But at the same time, I'm so sad that I can't be there. But at least I get Japan in a box. So this is Pocky. I know some of you call it Pocky, but if you listen to the Japanese commercial, Pocky na bebe! Pocky! Pocky. They say Pocky, so I'm just saying it this way. Let's see. Here it is. And they always make the wrapping absolutely beautiful. It looks delicate. I mean, we can see the texture of the actual package and it looks like cloth mesh. They just love their packaging over there. And I think Summer got the best of it. So we have two of them that are kind of wrapped into one. I pretty much put it in my notes. Might as well just shove it up my nose, Jackie. It has a very light, almost strawberry smell to it. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. So again, it has like this flowery flavor to it. Not perfumey. Don't confuse flowery and perfumey for the same thing. Flowery as in a light cherry. But the cookie itself has a hint of cinnamon in there. It's hard to explain, but this is probably the best pokey I've ever had. Or pocky. However way you want me to say it, I will say it. This is absolutely delicious. This is a 10 on 10. This is absolutely wonderful. A few grains can find this. Holy moly. Oh, that is good. Mm. This box is making me so happy. What's this? What is that? Okay, I've never seen this before, so I have no idea what it is. It is also by Lipton, and it says Mike. Oh, popcorn! Tea popcorn? So it looks like it's tea-flavored popcorn. That is interesting. By the way, let me know where your grains are from, and if you've ever seen these products before in the comment section below. I love tasting snacks that I've never, never seen or even know what they are, so I'm very curious. So far, it just smells like buttered popcorn, but it is generously coated. I mean, generously coated. Here we go. There it is. So it's not so much the first bite, but rather the aftertaste tastes like a light tea. This is really good and really dangerous. I can see this being finished in one sitting. It has like a little bit of a citrusy or minty flavor. So yeah, it's the aftertaste that's more popcorn-y tea. I would give this an eight. Very nice. I don't even know why I'm rating them. They're all good. <laughs> it's Japan. And next, <gasps> Oreo Sakura Chiffon Cake. That is very fancy. I don't even know what a chiffon cake tastes like. As you can see, these seem to be the thin Oreos. I'm not sure I've ever had the thin Oreos before, but that looks absolutely scrumptious. And this is going to be my first time trying this kind of Sakura flavored Oreo. I've had orange flavored, I've had green tea flavored, but I've never had this one. And how are they packaged? Oh, so they come in packs like this. So I guess it's pretty convenient to pack them as a snack. Oreo, if you would like to sponsor me, I am very good doing placements. <laughs> None of these are sponsored by the way. All right, so let's open it up. Here's what they look like. So it seems like one of them up here is just got a little damaged, but that is really slim. Ooh, 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 ooh. It has a very still strawberry-ish kind of smell, very thin. You can't see the cream on the side. I'm guessing, I'm wondering if it's just the first one, but no, all of them. So in the crispy Oreos, it seems like you can't see any of the cream unless you get a really specific angle. All right, let's try. Mm. He's on that thing. Mmm, the cookie is like a wafer. The filling on the inside is very subtle. I can tell it's sakura flavor, but it's very, very, very subtle. So this is definitely good with a tea. Now I have crumbs everywhere. I'm just gonna eat the crumbs off the floor. I really wish the filling was much bigger because right now it feels like the cookie is taking over. So Oreo, I would probably give this a six and a half. If they made the cream bigger, it definitely has a potential for an eight. I don't know why I'm rating it. I'm sorry, Charlotte. The next item in here is, is that a bath bomb? The next thing we have is a bath bomb of a famous character in Japan who is butt face. I can't wait to use this. I absolutely love bath bombs and the Japanese ones, they cover a large area and they smell so good. And the other fun thing about Japanese bath bombs is that you can get a charm or a toy. I really hope I get this character absolutely adorable. Next. Oh, we have a boba, so tapioca candy. So in case you didn't know, boba or bubble tea is pretty much a drink that has little tapioca balls that kind of look like tadpole eggs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds gross, but just me, it's absolutely delicious. It's not tapo, it's just tapioca. And they offer a really delicious texture in your drink. One of my favorite flavors is watermelon or honeydew. Those are my two top ones. I also like lychee, or is it called lychee? Let's just call it lychee, but it's probably lychee. There's the correct pronunciation. Lychee. And I think summer got to them again. <laughs> so our summer heat here has been intense. We've been hitting close to 40 degrees in the last couple of weeks, which is this much for you Amerigrains in Fahrenheit. And here, oh my God. Oh, I really think they're stuck. There we, there we go. Okay, I guess I'll put, should I put one or three? Mm. Oh, this is pleasant. So there's like a milk tea chocolate covering, which legitimately tastes like milk tea. And the inside is like a tapioca. Think of it as a hard gummy. Oh, that is good. Oh my God, I finally found the note all the way at the end. There's one more item in there and I see it and I have goosebumps and I am so excited about, but we're gonna get to that after. I'm just gonna read the note first because thank you, Sharla. Sharla, at this point, you are teasing me. <laughs> The note is really sweet. I do miss you too, Sharla. I really hope that we can see each other soon. I hope this year, but we don't know. It really depends on how each country deals with everything. As far as I know, I know that Japan is opening its borders with Vietnam, so they can travel amongst each other. I'm pretty sure a lot of the borders are going to be closed with North America. We don't have any control, which sucks. And this is specifically something I requested. Call me basic, but Starbucks in Japan actually has very limited edition items, limited edition drinks that we just don't get here in North America. So you can guess from the theme of the other snacks what kind of flavor I'm looking for here. Can we take a second to just appreciate this bag first and foremost? This is a really cute bag and the tide does stay tied right in the back, so you can't lose it. All right, let's pull one item out at a time. We have the spring season blend of coffee. Now, I'm not sure if this is slightly sakura flavored or if it's just a special edition blend, but where's the sniffy part? Japan, where's your sniffy part? They don't have a sniffy part, that's so odd. Let's see, and it's sealed. So let me open it and take a quick sniff because they don't have a sniffy part, that is so weird. Most coffees have that thing that you can squeeze and sniff but this has zero which probably makes it easier to ship because otherwise I think dogs do confuse coffee smells for other things. Come on, cooperate. Oh my god. This is much harder to open than I thought. Give me a second. All right, I got it to open and oh. So they are coffee beans. I prefer coffee beans over coffee grinds because I get to grind it in the morning. And it has a really strong roasted smell, but I don't smell anything sakura. So I'm going to guess that it's just the limited edition spring season. So I'm gonna have one of these later today. And the next one is also the same absolute thing. So maybe you can smell it in there, but probably not. Upon further inspection, it seems like we should get a dark cherry and spice type of undertone. So it's probably not going to be invasive because Japan flavors are not invasive. So I'm going to be trying this and telling you grains what it smells or tastes like. And so here's everything that Sharla sent. I am so happy, I'm so sad, but so happy at the same time. I really do appreciate everything that Sharla keeps sending me every time I'm not there, cause she knows I can't be there all the time. At some point though, I will be. I didn't just tell you my plans, did I? Yes, we are eventually looking at moving there permanently, but not yet, but in the long-term near future. Does that make sense? It's an oxymoron. So thank you again, Sharla, for everything. I really do appreciate it. I am super stoked about the coffee. I'm not going to have it yet because I just had coffee, which means I don't want to be extra hyper for this. No, 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 no. So remember to say hello to Sharla. I will leave her link in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.